hello friends welcome back to my channel i have this layout as tutorial for today and the tip here is that i'm using this 49 a market paper that comes in the march limited edition kit and i'm going to use only one pattern paper and i'm going to use both sides on my page the first thing that i am doing is using the curvy cutter by ek success i am center this piece in the area that i want to put the photo to cut a circle from the from this side of the paper this is the knife that comes with this tool and you just need to adjust the knife and put it in the track and I'm going to uh, make the circle and in that way uh, the knife cut, cut the paper but I am not making a lot of pressure on the knife this time because I am using the Tim Hall uh, glass mat and I don't want to scratch it so you will see what happened <clears throat> I just cut part partially the, the circle, but it's okay. I will finish the job with my scissor now. And it is the circle. Look how lovely with the flowers in the corner and the butterfly and look with the photo. Perfect. Now I take the paper and I'm going to use the uh, back side, the part that is orange with the circle from the other side. And in that way, I use the same pattern paper and um, have both sides. Okay, now I'm, I want to make uh, some strips, border ponches uh, strips to put around the circle and I'm using this one, this border punch by Martha Stewart that has this lovely uh, shape that looks like a, a small lace and I cut a few of them now with the same uh, cardstock I'm going to uh, make a mat for my photo I want the photo with a, a white border similar to the uh, border to the punch border uh, shapes that I'm going to put around the circle. Here I'm going to use uh, to take the strips and I am making pleats in the same paper just to uh, give this semicircular shape to each of these pieces. Now I'm going to start to adhere uh, these pieces um, in the back on the back of the circles. I started in that way and thinking that it's better to manipulate the paper if you I can see the pleats that I am making when I attach this uh, I when I see it uh, on the front I decided that I prefer to distress uh, the border of the circle so I uh, stop and with my scissor I am distressing all the borders because it gives a nice textures and like a rustic uh, border to the circle then now I'm going to uh, adhere uh, all the uh, ponches strips here but I decided to do it uh, with the circle uh, in front of me I think it's easier in this way because you can see how many you want to show of the lace uh, of the border lace or border paper and here you can see how lovely it looks now I take I am taking another strips of paper and I am doing the same again. I am making pleats in the paper until this has the semicircular and I'm going to add here. This time I put the, uh, the glue on the strips and I think it's easier because uh, the uh, strip already has the tape and you just need to worry about how much you want to show about the, the lace in the border. And it's, I found, I try uh, like three uh, different ways. And this one is the easier. Uh, you put the, if you, if you put the adhesive direct of the border punch strip. And now I am uh, giving the shape here to the circle and you can see how lovely it already looks. I already adhere everything and I give, uh, make stitches. I went to my sewing machine and sew and look how lovely it looks because this paper in the back has uh, these uh, stitches too. I make a banner and make stitches and I also make a few stitches around the circle. I love the texture that it brings to the background. Okay, I already have all these, you can see, and the banner too. 
So um, this is the today word that I want to put over the banner. Look how lovely it will look. Now it's time to uh, start to build my composition. But first, I decided to add a little of textures here. I'm going to use the Distress Texture Paste. It wants this uh, paste. Uh, it brings the crackle effect. So I want to add this only in the area that I'm going to add flowers later. I don't want to cover the paper just to give these textures uh, behind all these elements. So I am putting, uh, this is the reason that I am adding in, the, in these both corners here. Uh, one thing about this, uh, paste it it will give the crackles at the end and it once it's dry it is very very white the color that it will left i add a little of on the on the other corner you can see here the crackle effect and i put a little in this corner here because i want to put uh, the banner with the title and a little in the top uh, corner now i want to cover the uh, negative circle that i left here so i am putting uh, a liquid adhesive and i'm going to attach this pattern paper here a piece i'm not using a 12 by 12 because at the end i will uh put on the back a piece of chipboard so i cover the circle here and you can see how it looks now i'm going to attach the rest the circle and I decided to add, uh, I'm going, I am cutting two pieces of shibor because I want to add dimensions to the circles to pop up the circle from all the rest of the elements that I'm going to add soon. So I'm going to adhere this in the center. And now I'm going to use a liquid adhesive for the circle. In that way I can move a little if I need the circle. With, if I use the hot glue, <laughs> you know that once you adhere it, you can move it. It is ready. Now I am put a piece of shipboard behind the photo too. And then uh, this is the with all the stitches. I left the threads. I just love the, the fact that it gives. And I am distressing the borders with vintage photo. And I'm going to put uh, the words today here. And I'm going to start now to uh, make my composition with all the leaves. I'm using the laser leaves and also some leaves from the flower package. I'm using the, I, I started with the large leaf. It's easier when you're going to make a composition, start with the bigger, uh, with a bigger piece. And then you can use the, as you see, the large flower. And then I uh, play with the small pieces uh, to finish my composition here, my flower arrangement. As you see, I am trying not to cover the butterfly and the beautiful uh, elements that are in the circular piece that I cut. Here I add in some of the laser flowers. They look so natural. I love it. And then I will add the butterflies. and add some of the small leaves from the paper. This is from the Femera package, uh, Femera stack, some pieces and one butterfly here and a small one there. And once I see that <laughs> all that I put, I love how everything looks, I'm going to start to adhere all these pieces with tacky glue and with the hot glue too. I'm going to do this off camera. Okay, it is all, all, all uh, adhered. I'm going to show you what I did because I add a few elements. Uh, now you can see the threads. I put a 3D font tape behind the butterflies, um, behind other uh, leaves. I add some pearls and this, uh, I make a seam binding bow and put it behind the flowers and it is all ready now. I, I am taking now some of the sequins that comes in the laser sheets. And I am I'm putting here and there in some of the area to add uh, this extra element on the background. And now I'm going to add a few of these leaves, the small one. I think that it, I need something green <laughs> near to the title here just to add uh, the same colors that I have in the opposite corner and make a balance in my page. 
and I think that it is okay how it looks. Now I'm going to add here uh, the sequence and the lips. Okay, I decided to add a little extra of texture. I am adding some art stone with gel medium. If you uh, don't want to put uh, too much things on your page, you can uh, avoid this step. But I uh, always, uh, I love the texture that it gives to the page. So I am adding a few of them uh, in some of the area. I'm not going to add too much, but I love this uh, texture here and there. Okay, I already add here the arson. I cover my photo and now I'm giving white paint splatters. I just love the white, the splatters, the white splatter on the background. It looks so lovely. And here it is. Now I decided to take a sponge with the gesso and I am sponging uh, over all, some of the flowers in the borders. It gives this lovely and um, like a smooth and leader all these uh, textures on the background. Love. Okay, and after I did, uh, this is my last step and you can see here, let me show you, it's wet, but I'm going to show you how it looks. You can see all the texture, the dimension, and I just love the final result. You, you will see soon the photos that I took outdoor uh, because I you can see this now with all the lights that I used to film. And <clears throat> I hope my friends that you enjoy the tutorial today. If you like this, let me know with a comment down below and share this video with any friend. And here are the photos outdoor. You can see better the colors, the beautiful uh, orange. And as always, I let you the link to the kit down below and to my social media. And I'm going to let you hear two more videos that maybe you are interested. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell. Nos vemos. Bye bye.